Hey everyone. So as you can see, I'm in uh, my new Tesla. Well, actually it's my wife's new Tesla. Um, and it's driving for me. See? It's gonna come to a stop by itself. It takes a little bit of getting used to, putting faith in it, you know, cause you got all your human reflexes. But it actually does, it's, it's braking on its own. I'm not, I don't have a foot on the pedal. I don't have a hand on the steering wheel. And my car has come to a stop in traffic, see? Now, watch it, it's gonna follow the cars when they leave. Here we go. And I didn't press the gas. My feet are off the gas, look. Isn't that cool? All right, so here's a video of it uh, tracking cars around me as we drive. As you can see, my feet are not on the pedals at all. There's the pedals. There's a car. It's got a rear view camera tracking behind it and all the rad uh, radar tracking around it. So there's a car, see, as it passes. Steering wheel turning by itself. Following the road. We got some tight turns coming up ahead. And my hand is not on the steering wheel. And there it goes, see? Now it's braking because the guy in front of me is braking. And now that he's out of the way, the car slowly made its way by. And once it got by, it's accelerating again. It's turning on its own, see? This is like a super twisty part of the road, of the coastal highway going up the windward coast. And the car is handling it perfectly. This is a super tight part of the road. And there we go, I don't, I, it, it's pretty good. I mean, the biggest change is that you gotta get used to trusting the car. And I suppose, you know, that's a bit of a hurdle for people, um, but it is pretty cool. It uh, lets you enjoy the sights and sounds around and uh, you know, you, sometimes uh, when you're a little bit tired, you you know, my wife and I, we kind of argue about uh, who's going to drive, you know, she'll be like, you know, you drive and I'll be like, no, you drive, you know, but right now it doesn't really matter who drives because the car is going to just basically drive itself uh, and uh, it doesn't really matter what seat you're in, you could be in the driver's seat or passenger seat, it's actually the same experience really. The drive I take from our city our place up to our house on the coast, it's about a 40, 45 minute drive. Uh, I mean, it's really scenic and literally this makes it totally enjoyable. I don't have to really do anything. Uh, and like pretty much the whole way there, I set myself, once I got on the highway, I set it on uh, uh, autopilot and the Tesla took care of the rest. One thing I want to show you is, uh, I'm going to flip the camera around um, and you can see the screen there. One thing is that you can't really speed in this car to, because Tesla is smart enough to track the speed limits of the roads um, that you're driving on. So if it's taking care, if it's, if it's doing the driving for you, um, it won't let you speed. I mean, there's like a little margin that you can set it a little bit above the speed limits, but um, it automatically accommodates for leaving the highway, which it was doing, I was doing about 60 you know, miles per hour, and now I'm, uh, it's limiting me to about 40 miles an hour on the coastal road, so it's pretty cool. Um, but either way, it keeps you out of trouble. Anyway, that's enough for now, uh, and I'll I'll uh, see you guys later, and I'll do another video later. Okay, bye.